Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. So I am super excited today to be doing something totally different for you guys. Well sort of different, it's kind of similar. We are still building obviously, but today we are doing a challenge build slash collaboration kind of build. This is something brand new to my channel and I am doing it with my good friend The Simified, also known as Arthur. I'm sure you guys have heard of him, brilliant builder. Um, we kind of had this idea where um, we would challenge each other to do a particular type of build and we would have like certain requirements and stuff so today we challenge each other to do a base game only build and kind of like a family house so that the only restrictions we had were that it had to be base game completely base game and it had to have a minimum i think it was of four bedrooms and then um we would see, we kind of called it like, we decided to call it the interpretation challenge because it's kind of like each other's interpretation of whatever we came up with in our head kind of thing. So um, you can see my house is coming together right now. If you want to see, view his build, then you can head over to his channel. I'll have a description, uh, a link in the description down below. Um, I've kind of cut out a bit of this video because um, it's a really long video, you guys. So bear with me, please keep watching. It, it turns out absolutely amazing in the end. I'm super happy with the finished product and it's a massive house. I did not intend it to be this big, but it just turned, it just kept growing. That's the thing with family houses. I don't like having small bedrooms. So when I have a lot of bedrooms, which this house does, it has five bedrooms and four bathrooms. It kind of just turns into this mahoosive mansion. So I went very traditional with my style because that's like my favourite type of style and Arthur of course went very modern because that is his favourite kind of style. So um, yeah, I'm kind of just throwing in a bunch of different stuff here and this is kind of like a series that you're going to see on both of our channels from now on. We don't know how many videos we're going to do or whatever but it's all just fresh and new and we're just going to have a good time with it at the moment. So um, I'm going to throw up a screenshot of his build, so if you want to see it then you can uh, go to the link in the description to view his video of his build, it is called Worth, Worth Ridge or something, it's going to come up in a second, here we go, Worth Ridge, his very modern, it's on a 64 by 64 lot, again 100% base game, apart from the fact that he put in one of the pool recolors that came with Get Together which is not base game, but apart from that, it's 100% base game. So both of these houses you can totally download, no matter what packs you've got, as long as you've got the Sims 4 base game, then you can use both of these houses. And I think actually it's really fun to play with the base game sometimes, because you don't realise the kind of stuff you can do with the base game. You sort of rely on a lot of objects and stuff, and actually I came up with loads of ideas that I usually would, and then you just don't use the objects that came with the other expansions, and it's actually quite refreshing to sort of challenge yourself. So yeah, um, basically the origin of this kind of challenge was that when we used to Skype, well, I mean we still do Skype because we're good friends, but we would Skype and play The Sims at the same time and we would sort of come up with like different ideas and then we would download each other's lot from the gallery and see how each other like did it. So once we did like a house on stilts or like a certain amount of squares and saw how we built the house and then we would check each other's house out at the end and we thought it'd be like a really fun series to bring to both of our channels because um, everybody has kind of like different ideas and stuff and that's kind of why we decided to call it the interpretation challenge because you interpret an idea differently so our whole thing for this one was a base game family build like minimum of four bedrooms and we didn't have any like budget requirements or anything because <laughs> neither of us like building on a budget so we thought we wouldn't do that but um but yeah it was just really fun to do this and i um i'm super pumped because it's now midnight on a sunday for me in england here and it's still like afternoonish time for arthur in america so <laughs> i was trying to get my build done but i've just finished watching captain america civil war not civil war yeah civil war at the cinema so i've just come home and i was like ah, i need to record my build so i'm doing that now and we appear to be pausing a lot in this part of the video but you won't have just seen that because i just cut it all out so <laughs> it i just said that it was pausing a lot but it's not now because i just cut it out of the video so yeah like i was saying i just got back from the cinema it's now midnight so I'm a, I'm a little bit hyper, so I apologise if I'm kind of loud or whatever, I don't know, but yeah. This was a super fun build and I'm really looking forward to doing more of this challenge on both of our channels because it was something fun that we like to do and we wanted to sort of bring it to both of our channels and share it with you guys. So um, like I said, go check his build out after you finish watching this one and see how he interpreted this challenge. I have not actually seen his build yet, like just the one screenshot that we shared with each other for the videos but we have not seen each other's build in detail yet, so it's really fun to sort of like check each other's out 
like we used to do when we were doing it via Skype and stuff. So yeah, just a super fun build. So anyway, more about the house. Um, as you can see here, um, we're kind of like doing, the, we've done the whole floor plan already, but you kind of walk in and um, have this big entrance foyer area with the staircase and it opens up into the living room. I wanted to do a split level, which I have going on here, but oh, the, the stupid game would, would not do the lighting properly. So I would place lights, um, like where the staircase is, the hallway is, and the light spreads fine, but where the foundation kind of comes up, if you've done a split level on The Sims 4, you know what I mean. It wouldn't colour properly, it kept looking really blue, so I just decided not to do it in the end, and I just replaced it with normal flooring, so it doesn't have a split level, which is a shame, because split levelling is always really fun, and I used to enjoy doing it a lot in The Sims 3, and you, it is possible in The Sims 4, obviously I've done it now, but it is just so complicated. So I just decided to save myself the drama and the stress of it and just go for something else. So um, yeah, adding some more roofing and different bits here and just adjusting the shape to the final, the final shape kind of thing. So yeah, going through and adding all the different types of windows. There's a few different types of windows on this build. As you can see, there's these big glass windows at the back and that is because that is the gym. So my kind of interpretation of this challenge was a big family home with a minimum of four bedrooms. Um, and I kind of went for like a very wealthy family. I just thought, um, it kind of kind of comes into my suburban series a little bit, I suppose. It's not quite as suburbia with like a white picket fence. It's definitely more of a mansion type of build, but it's not a mansion. It's just a very big home. So um, as you can see, I'm going through and doing like a bunch of the landscaping. We've got this beautiful flower bed outside here. And then I'm deciding on like a path and colors. And I think I go over here and I wasn't sure how to separate the garden off because the garden is on the side of the house. And I always really struggle when I do a garden on the side of the house, how to like separate it from the front because you don't want people like peering in on you as you're like swimming in the pool or whatever you're doing. So yeah, um, I go through here and I do a cool pool type of thing on a foundation, which is completely irrelevant because I don't keep it. I change it completely. But um, I saw somebody do this like diagonal type of thing and then with like decking. I can't remember where I watched it now, but somebody's speed build I was watching. And I thought, oh, I'm going to steal that because it looks really cool. But I don't know. It didn't suit this kind of house. It needed a more grand kind of pool. So that's what I went for in the end. The outside is very lovely. <laughs> I mean, not to like, you know, blow my own trumpet or whatever, but I just really like how it turned out in the end. It looks really sort of grand and very nice, and you definitely want to have your friends around to chill by the pool and all that kind of stuff. I'm um, doing outdoor lighting here. I go through, and we've got this cool kind of trellis wrapping around the outside of these, like, balconies on the right-hand side there, and that was an idea that I saw on, like, Google Images on, like, a house, and I wanted to try and bring it into The Sims, and it, it worked pretty well, I think. Um, it didn't go exactly to plan, but I kind of, I cut that bit out of this video because the video was really long at the beginning. <laughs> it was like 40, I had seven hours of footage and Arthur was texting me. We were texting each other while we were building and um, he was like, oh, I'm done with my video. It's just an hour and a half or two hours and it's editing and I'm processing it. And I was like, um, yeah, I haven't even done the floor plan yet. So I'm a very slow builder and I like to go into a lot of detail when I do my builds and I want to make sure everything is perfect. So I hate just like throwing things together. But Arthur is quite a quick builder because he does and like sits in like one session, as it were, and like builds until he's done and comfortable with what he's doing. As I like to come back, like stop and come back because I get a builder's block, I guess. I don't know. I just sort of struggle and like lose ideas. So this is what I was talking about earlier. As you can see, I'm bulldozing that split level area and just going with a normal floor. So yeah, like I was saying, I kind of like to come back to it, like leave it alone for five minutes, um, gather my ideas and then come back and implement them. So it takes me a lot longer to build. So I'm really sorry also that this video is going up a bit late, but I know that <laughs> you, you'll forgive me because you're a good person. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully he doesn't mind too much. But um, we are going in and just doing some furnishing and stuff. And as usual, there is no order to my video. I go in and out, in and out, in and out. So I'm doing the living room right now. And then I think we do move on to some more interior stuff here. I really love what I did here. I did like a whole picture wall of different photos and stuff because it was kind of like a family house kind of feel that we were doing in the challenge. Um, I don't know if we actually specified it had to be a family house or not, but I always think anything with more than three bedrooms is pretty much a family home, so that's kind of what I just rolled with, to be honest. I thought I put a lot of pictures on the wall because I always feel like in a family house you'd have a lot of pictures of family and events that happen and stuff because you want to remember the good times. So I threw a bunch of pictures and paintings up there. I mean, I know none of them have people in them, like one or two, because obviously 
paintings in The Sims are just random, but it's like the idea <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, doing the foyer area here, and there's like this long hallway that leads to like a conservatory type of room, more of like a sunroom because it has a lot of windows in it and a lot of plants, and that's where like the family would do their gardening and stuff. Um, it was a bit of a different room really because I haven't really done one of them before I don't think and it kind of just added some I feel like only a big house would have something like that so yeah it's a really nice room and I put a lot of skill building items in that room as well so it's kind of like a, a good room to have in a sims house and um, here we're doing a study we go very very traditional because I feel like maybe dad would be some sort of businessman or they'd run their own business mum and dad would kind of run their own business and they need like a good a very professional study to have clients in or something and that's the kind of vibe that I was running for because sometimes I do make up kind of storylines in my head for the type of sims that I'm building for sometimes I just build for like you know fun I mean this was fun but sometimes I like to come up with a storyline of the kind of clientele I'll be building for as it were and um, so that's kind of what I did here and I go in and I add a few trophies and stuff onto here because this family is very sort of well to do and they're quite respected and that's the kind of vibe I was going for so but they like to have fun too so they're not like they don't take themselves too seriously so we're moving on to the dining room here this is a very grand room also they have a lot of very traditional things nothing is too modern apart from the gym that's very modern and a few of the bedrooms are kind of a bit more modern because I felt like they'd be more personal um I did I think this house has I said it earlier five bedrooms I think I said I think uh, one two three four yeah it has two kids bedrooms two guest bedrooms and then one master bedroom the master bedroom and the master closet and the master bathroom are like some of my favorite parts of this house I really love how this house turned out I'm just like super proud I'm a proud builder <laughs> so as you can see we're doing the dining room here and um like I said it's very grand we've got a lot of paneling going all over this house a lot of gold mirrors and gold paintings like gold frames as it were and big curtains everywhere and it just looks really nice and I think you would definitely have to have actually I know how much this house is you would definitely have to have a lot of simoleons because this house is half a million simoleons nearly it's like four four thousand four hundred fifty thousand four hundred seventy thousand somewhere between that I can't remember the exact number but it's close enough to half a million simoleons so I don't think you're going to be able to afford this if you like to play normally without cheats. I think this is definitely going to be a motherload house. But, you know, maybe you've just got The Sims 4, you're ready to rock and roll with some gameplay, so chuck motherload in, download this house, get going. It'll gonna, it's going to be a good time because, like I said, this house is 100% base game, which I've got to say was a struggle um, with certain aspects. You just really wanted to use some of the items we've got, like they'd be really great in certain situations, like in the kitchen, for example. I really wanted to use the extractor fan from Cool Kitchen Stuff because it covers two ovens, but um, yeah, that was a weird transition that just went on there. But I'm going to take that out of the video at the end so you won't see it, so you'll have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but anyway. Like I was saying, the extractor fan, so I just used this one, but it was it would have been good to use the cool kitchen one, but obviously this was a base game challenge, so I couldn't do that. Um and the oh the one thing that really annoys me about the Sims 4, I love the filter system. I think it's brilliant, and obviously you can filter by like content as in what packs you use as well. Like I have all the packs of the Sims 4 that are available at the moment. Not in a braggy way, but just I do. Um, so you can like filter through so you have like spa day and get together and get to work and that kind of thing So obviously base game is at the top which is really helpful So you filter by base game by like ticking the box and it filters all your items for base game Which is great, but if you clone another object with the eyedropper tool It erases your filters and it's so annoying because I use that tool all the time But a way to get around it is if you want to if you do want to eyedrop something instead of using the eyedropper tool Click on it hold down shift and then replace it by clicking and then it will clone that for you but it doesn't erase the filter so that's what I had to do I had to sort of like avoid the eyedropper tool otherwise you have to keep reapplying the filter and I think that's why this video turned out to be seven hours I think it was nothing to do with the fact that I take forever to build a house mm -hmm. it's definitely that that's what I'm going with so over here we're doing the main kitchen obviously it's got like an island it's a very big room got marble flooring going on there's lots of marble in this house um, and I threw it in like a bar area as well because I was like ah, a house like this would definitely have a bar going on because they've got like two fridges, they're into their entertaining, they've got a massive living room. They're like the house you want to be invited to for fancy parties, you know? And um, this is the room I was talking about earlier. This is like the sunroom. 
It's at the back of the house, it's got a lot of like Georgian windows going on and um, a stone flooring to have a keep that very cool vibe. And as you can see here, I'm putting in all of these flowers and plant pots and everything. And I put in a little table that's going to have like um, a more flowers, like uh, maybe mum or dad, probably not dad because we're going to go for stereotypical roles, but maybe um, would be like into flower arranging or whatever. Maybe the kids like it. Who knows? You do you. Let your sins live. That kind of crap. So um, we're putting in like a sitting area to enjoy in the sunroom here. This is where you would come and have like tea or afternoon tea kind of thing and like maybe a slice of cake at the end of the day or whatever. Um, or come and arrange flowers or paint or play chess. I put in a bunch of skill building items in here and I do actually put planter pots in here at the end. Um, so you can actually plant like actual growable plants. I wouldn't recommend putting a tree in here but <laughs> the other plants would be fine I think. Um, so yeah as you can see I just throw in those skill building items because um, it's kind of boring to play The Sims without building skills, so yeah, I just thought I'd throw some of those in and those plant pots just going in there. And as you can see, the gym is going together now, just three pieces of exercise equipment because that's all that comes with the base game. I don't think there's any other types of exercise equipment that come with the expansion packs anyway, to be honest, but um, we just went for the base game items, obviously, and we went for a nice bright air, like kind of bright, breezy, airy kind of feel in the gym because you're going to go in there and get all hot and sweaty. You don't want it to be dark and warm. You want it to be quite cool because obviously you're working out. So I threw in a couple of weight machines, a couple of treadmills and a boxing... What's that called? Boxing thing? <laughs> that stand-up boxy thing. You guys know what I mean. And then obviously I thought it would be a good idea to have a bathroom off of the gym and there's also another door to the hallway because it's always really important to have a downstairs bathroom in my opinion. And I always try and make sure that my downstairs bathrooms have enough room for a shower as well because ever since The Sims 2 when I used to play it with like my aunt or whatever she would always say if The Sims have got a wee then you might as well make them have a shower while they're there because that knee probably decays as quickly as the bladder one does. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just do that from now on. And ever since, for some reason, every time my sims, like, go to the loo, I pretty much make them have a shower as well. Because it's always, like, halfway, so I kind of do those things at the same time. That's just how I play. I should probably implement so it's more generic for most people. I don't think most people play like that. but So I always try and put, like, a shower or a bath or whatever in all my bathrooms. I don't really like powder rooms that much in the sims. Because it's annoying if you're playing with a lot of sims and you have to keep going upstairs to get them to shower or whatever. So that's basically the reason why I always do like big downstairs bathrooms. So I did that in this house, of course. And um, I don't know if we saw the, the roof go on or not in this build. I can't remember whether I cut that bit out or not because it was actually quite difficult. But the, the roof is on, the windows are in, the, we're doing the painting and stuff now. Uh, not painting, the wallpapers, we're doing that now. We go for a brick and siding thing because... I am just horribly unoriginal when it comes to painting the outside of a house. I just can't seem to come up with anything that looks good. So I kind of just stick to what I know, which is like bricks and panelling. And obviously, like I said, base game, there is not that much stuff. So you kind of have to roll with it. I wanted to use this sort of get together um, stonework, but obviously I couldn't because we were only using base game, bit, uh, base game content. So yeah, just adjusting the roof there and trying to make it look presentable because it is a quite a difficult shape because this house is quite a difficult shape so um i'm extending this kind of uh what we call this like terracey kind of trim thing i said it earlier and now i can't remember but um we're working on the back garden here and i'm going to completely like destroy all of this in a minute because i hate everything i do this weird like <laughs> you can see i'm going in with all these curved foundations it just looked absolutely atrocious so we completely bulldoze that, as you can see, because I was like, what am I doing? No. And then I go through and I'm trying to do something fancy with like tiling. This looks stupid as well. So we get rid of this. I just couldn't get it to work like what I wanted. I didn't have a vision in my head. I just knew that I wanted to try this, but it just didn't work out at all well. So we just demolished that and I went for something else. I actually extend the foundation here, the decking area, and it kind of separates off the garden as well, I think, which is quite good because it was quite a long kind of chunk on the side there and I wasn't sure what to do with it so we extend this kind of terracey what did I call it earlier was that a terrace no it's not a terrace a terrace is something you can walk on I can't even think now but we extend that thing over the top there and then I put the trim around the outside and we put like a sitting area and a fountain on there and then the swimming pool was on the left side and then we put a dining section on the right side and as usual in this build I 
um, I go completely over the top with landscaping, which is also a reason why this build took so long and I had seven hours of footage because I wanted to try and show you guys as much as possible and I do like to really go um, in depth with my landscaping. So adding the pool in here, we go for a bit of a, I don't know, not interesting shape, but just not a boring square because, I don't know, I was going to go for that, but then I just thought, ah, oh, now let's throw in some, you know, diagonals and I think it looked fine. So, and um, we're going through and just adding in some basic pavement at here at first, but um, I do actually change that to a more interesting pavement because I tend to use this one a lot in a lot of my builds and it kind of just is a bit boring because it kind of matches the sidewalk, but that's why I also like it because it matches the sidewalk if that makes sense. But we changed it because I use it all the time so I thought I should mix it up a bit. So adding some seating here, I would have loved to throw in some, um, uh, what is it called? Outdoor living? No, that was The Sims 3. Uh, perfect patio furniture which I use in a lot of my builds because it's brilliant but of course this was base game so I couldn't do that so I had to use these like benches and it makes it look a bit like a park unfortunately <laughs> but there wasn't any other furniture I could have used so it was base game or nothing and I thought it looked really stupid just to have a, com a massive deck with nothing on it so I threw in some benches and stuff and little chairs because I couldn't even make sun lounges because again I needed perfect patio for that so yeah there we go um, and we're going in and doing a bunch of landscaping and then I'm adding the foundation like you know that thingy painting foundation oh and I had this really cool idea to use like arches as a little sort of like entrance kind of like walkway thing just to add a bit of like depth and interest to the garden because it was kind of the garden was quite large and it was a bit boring so um Oh, and also at the beginning of this build, if you notice, we're on a completely different lot now. It's because we started off on like a 40 by 30 lot, and I built the house and had no room for a garden. So we moved to a 50 by 40 or a 40 by 50 lot in Newcrest, which again, I thought is totally friendly to base game build, because if you only have the base game, you wouldn't have Windenburg or the other two towns. So I was like, damn, I can't use those. So I started off in Willow Creek, I think, and then I was thinking of what other, I didn't want to go to Oasis Springs because it's the desert and the lighting is weird and that frustrates me so I thought Newcrest is base game because it came with an update so you can use Newcrest if you've only got the base game so you can place this lot here because I think Newcrest is the only place you can have a 50 by 40 lot or a 40 by 50 whatever it is um so yeah don't worry it's still thought of you base game users so yeah um, we're doing it and doing a bunch of the landscaping and here I'm trying to add like a border or an entrance I'm just like not sure. I'm not sure if I do it now or near the end No, I think I do it now actually and I add like a fence because I don't like it when the lot is just open I do and I don't it's difficult it depends what kind of build you're doing But this was quite a grand build and I thought no it needs something more, you know So I add a build but I didn't want to add a white picket fence because it's not too suburban and as you can see I do at the beginning here but then I don't like that. So we go through and add half walls, which of course come up on a foundation because they're a wall, but actually that worked out pretty well. And then I use this iron fence in the middle to kind of separate it off and it kind of made it look like an iron fence was going around the whole of the outside, which we don't have a tall one. So this worked quite well. And I just went through and painted it and um, made the foundation that very thin modern one, which is gray. And then I made like a gray paint or found a grey paint, sorry, in the colouring wallpaper section and then I kind of made the tops kind of grey as well and I loved how it turned out, I think it worked pretty well. So here we're going through and adding more landscaping of course because I've done all these like stone sections here and everything and I just need to fill them all in with flowers and I did this and then in I think like a minute or two I sort of quit because I've had enough for now and I come back to it and I did actually build the whole house this weekend it's Sunday night now well technically it's Monday morning because it's 20 past midnight right now when I'm filming this but um, I did build this on Saturday and Sunday so it did take me a couple of days but in that meantime I'd watched a couple of speed builds and stuff and I saw a lot of people that did if you had a big area to landscape they kind of put down a lot of terrain paint and then kind of like uh, scattered the plants and flowers throughout and it looked really nice actually and it didn't take as long and it didn't f like fill up the space as much but it still made it feel full because obviously I wanted to do this house quickly because I knew that these videos had to go up and I knew that Arthur from The Simified had done um, his build already because he's a really quick builder and so I was I felt under pressure to get it done because we wanted to upload them at roughly the same kind of time obviously so you guys can hop over to 
either mine or his channel. If you're from his channel, hi, I'm Bram. And if you're from my channel, then go check Arthur out. I'm sure you've heard of him. I'm sure you've subscribed to him already, but go check his build out. And um, so, yeah, I wanted to kind of like get it all done, but I didn't want to spend forever doing the flowers. But at the same time, I didn't want it to just look rushed. So I was glad that I saw that and uh, I kind of implemented that into a couple of spots, which you'll see a bit later on because I've come back now and I've got bored of landscaping so as usual we're hopping on something else so I'm going inside and I think I do the whole of the upstairs before I go back to any landscaping so we're doing the hallway and I'm just throwing in a couple of end tables and mirrors and paintings and stuff because obviously you want to like check yourself before you leave if you come out your room you might want to look at yourself in the mirror and then just decorative rubbish everywhere else to be honest so I used that painting again I used it in the dining room but I wanted something that was big to fill this kind of wall above the staircase so I used it again but Maybe you didn't notice and I just ruined it, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Adding a little seating area next to the window that looks up above the front door because that's kind of like a, not a grand area, but you just want like a nice view from the outside and a nice view from the inside. I like it when you can have, if there's a window above the front door, I like it if you can have the, the hallway upstairs looking out of it. It's kind of a shame if you have to close it off with a bedroom, but that's just my opinion. I'm going through and adding some uh, runners to the hallway because, like I said, it's quite a grand house, so I feel like they'd have that kind of thing going on. And this I kind of stole from Devin Bumpkin, which I have an upcoming collab with him. He has posted his video, and I have been a rubbish builder and friend and taking forever to film mine, but I already have seven hours of footage, and I am still not finished with that house yet. So, Devin, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, the build is coming, I promise, and I'm really happy with how it's coming, like, turning out, so I don't want to rush it. But that, guys, will definitely be up either this week or next week, so I hope you're looking forward to that. That is a townhouse collaboration with him. We did, um, like, a kind of challenge where you build on the same lot. He built half of it, and I'm building the other half. But in his half, he built a master bedroom that led onto a nursery, so I stole the idea from him. So thanks, Devin, for the idea. I appreciate it. And, um... That's what we're doing here. We're doing a little baby's room and um, it's quite grand. I do use a lot of pillars and a lot of curtains and stuff. And it wasn't like to be fancy. I just kind of wanted to make it kind of pretty and cute and stuff. And I like how it turned out anyway. And there's a couple of gnomes in here and that could be creepy or cute. I'm not really sure which one, but I was running out of decorations and the gnomes were base game. So I just threw them in. Um, this could be a boys or a girls room. Please don't stereotype because boys and girls all like different stuff. So I just went for like creams and greens and yellow. Just because I felt like they were like unisex colours. So you could kind of have any baby you wanted in here because it really doesn't matter at that age to be honest. So yeah, um, I added like a plate area over here as you can see with the rug as well. Like um, that is just floor tiles but you get that kind of like foamy kind of puzzle stuff that you put together for little kids. I don't know if you guys know what I mean but... If you've ever been near a child <laughs> then you probably know what I mean because I feel like every child has it so yeah I thought I like that carpet because it kind of represents that so it's very very child oriented and just fun Um, so this is the master bedroom which is absolutely huge and I've I've like built a walk-in closet as well and I thought oh my god what am I gonna fill this up with so I decided to make a four poster bed using the move objects and moving hang on <laughs> using the move objects cheat and the pillars Um which I sized the curtains up and then used the 9 key when the move object sheet is on to size the curtains up, uh, to move the curtains up, sorry, so that they'd reach the top of the bed. So if you want to do that, you can just simply open the cheat window by clicking Control shift c together, type in bb.moveobjects and then click enter. That enables the cheat. You can then move anything and intersect anything. And if you use the 9 and 0 keys, the 9 key makes things move up and the 0 key makes things move down. They don't go down any further than they were originally. But if you've moved them up and you want to get them back to normal level, then you can use the 0 key to move them down. And it just makes for... Um, just more variety because obviously I was using base game only which I know I've said about a hundred times in this build um, but yeah heard this video sorry but because it was base game only I was struggling for objects and stuff and to make things look more original and not so boring so I thought that using the pillars and the curtains to make a four poster bed was quite a good idea um, and I'm definitely not the first to use it don't get me wrong I'm not like trying to claim originality or anything uh, lots of people have done it and I just like how it looks so I kind of just went for that really and over here I'm doing like this big joint cabinet thing because they definitely have some a lot of clothes and cabinets in a house like this because they'd be quite wealthy and have a lot of possessions I think in my opinion so yeah that's kind of what I was doing I was kind of doing like a vanity as well where they had all their lotions and potions and perfumes and all that rubbish so I put all that over there 
and because the cabinets were intersecting each other, they were like clipping and sort of glitching out a bit. So I kind of used a shelf, sized it up, and just hovered it over the top of them so that you couldn't see them glitching anymore, which, to be honest, I thought was a pretty good idea. So yeah, we're going on to the master closet here. As you can see, I've got like um, chest of drawers either side, and then a wardrobe one side, and then a full length mirror the other side, and also put mirrors behind all of the dresses as well, so you can totally see what you're wearing and just like check yourself out and making sure you're looking good before you go out. And that leads through to the master bathroom, which if you guys have ever seen the show Desperate Housewives, Gabrielle and Carlos's house has that, and like that is literally my dream thing to have a master bedroom with a walkthrough closet that leads to the bathroom. That would just be so awesome. Or like Carrie Bradshaw out of Sex and the City, she kind of has that kind of situation going on as well. Um, but I won't talk too much about Sex and the City because that will be stealing Delhi Thunder. So, um, yeah, we're going on to the master bathroom here, and I love, 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 love how this has turned out. It is so grand, and it's got gold accents everywhere, and it's all black and white, and it just looks so fantastic, and um, I just love it. I would love to have a bathroom like this. It's amazing. And I know I sound really big-headed, I don't mean to come across like that, but I'm just happy with how this turned out, and I just love it when I do a build, and I'm just super happy with it, which I am with this build. And it's quite intimidating, actually, doing a kind of collab like this with Arthur, because he's such a big YouTuber, and we've obviously, we're obviously friends, so I don't mind doing anything with him, and I love talking to him and stuff. But when we do stuff together on YouTube, it's kind of intimidating, because he has a lot of subscribers, and my channel's quite small, and I always know who's going to comment, I always have like the same commenters, and that's really nice and stuff. So I know if anyone comes from his channel to check me out, I obviously really appreciate the views and stuff, but I'm always like, oh, I need to impress people, because they're coming over from someone who's always delivering great content, so... Yeah, um, we're going on to do the kids' bedrooms here, and we've got like a Jack and Jill bathroom situation going on here. Um, which is, like, if you don't know, it's like where you have two bedrooms either side of a bathroom, and then they share a bathroom. It's usually with, like, siblings or something, so that's kind of what we have here. And these are two kids' bedrooms, and I just went for very stereotypical colours, and I did pink for the girl and blue for the boy, but you can totally use the boy in the pink room and the girl in the blue room. I just went with the colour swatches that we had. The base game is very limited. And I hope I don't offend anyone because it seems that a lot of people get very funny about these type of things. If you've seen, if you follow or subscribe to Deliveracy, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do, you know that she's had some trouble, some comeuppance with a few things that she did lately, which I totally don't agree with. I totally agree with Delhi. I think people overreact, but no offense intended with this. I just, it was just fun to go with those kind of stereotypical colors and just roll with it. So yeah, um, please don't take it the wrong way. Going on to the Jack and Jill bathroom here, I kind of throw in, again, a blue towel and a pink towel just to sort of like separate the two. You can change up the colours if you want to make them neutral, it's entirely up to you, it's just fun. And I build the way I build, and it's no offence to anyone. And I think Arthur talked about it in his last video that some people just get very wound up about these things, and it's not necessary. This is a game and it is fun, and I'm just sharing my content with you. So hopefully you don't take it the wrong way, and I'm sorry if any offence is caused, but if you don't like it, then don't watch, and it's as simple as that, you know? So anyway, <laughs> enough of those politics, let's carry on. So if you want to download this build, then you can, the link will be in the description, it is called Lakeland Hills, and Arthur's build is called Worth Ridge, like I said earlier, his link, the link to his video will be in the description, and the link to his build will be in the description, so please go check his out. Let us, let us know what you guys think of this challenge, this interpretation challenge, if you want to see more, then more builds definitely will be coming. If you don't want to see more, then let me know, well, there will probably still be another one coming, because it's already in the works, so yeah, but let me know what you guys think, and uh, give me the feedback and everything, and um, we've had a really good time just doing this, because it's kind of like we've done it before anyway, just chilling out as friends and stuff, obviously, and building together. Um, it's like common interests, so it's fun. And uh, well, yeah, we wanted to bring some new fresh content, and we really hope you guys like it. So yeah, like I said, all the download links are in the description. You can use the hashtag Lakeland Hills, the hashtag Endless Sims, the hashtag Endless, all the usual hashtags like I always say. And yeah, the build is coming up to an end now. We're finishing off the guest bedrooms here, and I just went very generic with these, they were just sort of bed, sofa, dresser, mirror, because obviously they're guest bedrooms, so you don't have a lot of personal possessions in them. Um, as you can see, I've changed the flooring and stuff outside already, off camera, and now I'm doing some pool decorations, and then we will go through and finish the landscaping, so I went for a very intricate pool design there, and then I got rid of it because it looked crap, so 
I'm going through and doing the tiles and I went very Sims 1 type of thing with this kind of blue tiling in the pool. I just loved it. Sometimes it's fun to use the base game, like I said at the beginning, just to kind of mix things up a bit and you kind of have to really look at things you don't usually use because you just need more variety. So hopefully this house is 100% base game. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 100% sure that it is, but maybe the landscaping went wrong at some point because when I first started, I nearly started to use other stuff, but I did filter it every single time, so I'm hoping that this is 100% base game. It should be. Arthur's is 100% base game apart from the pool water, but that really won't make a difference. It will just get replaced with normal pool water, so there's no need to stress. And yeah, I really, really hope you guys like this build and this challenge and this new video idea and the whole overall thing because we had a lot of fun doing it and there'll definitely be more on the way, so... I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend. No, I'm just joking. I'm not stealing Arthur's outro, really. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please enjoy the screenshots, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.